Hi guys, today we are going to be doing something that was very highly requested in the first video that I did using my little mini palace by Dubious Place. So I thought today what we could do is we're going to do two looks, but I want to do this a little bit differently. I don't want to pair these with each other, but what I want to do is I want to do one look with each of these pairing them with something else in my collection because to me a palette like this is not a standalone palette like especially the berries one like to me there's just not really enough depth and different tones in this palette for me to consider it a standalone like yeah you could probably get like two kind of different looks out of this but if you want to get the most versatility out of you know like monochromatic or small palettes like this the best way to use them in my opinion is to use them along with something else and i've honestly gotten a lot of questions in other videos when i mentioned this like how do you pair a palette with another palette like can you show me the process like how do you decide what to pair it with and so on so i thought what i'm going to do is because I love me a good challenge. So I've actually put all of my palettes into my little wheel again. <laughs> so we're actually just going to draw a palette that I'm going to use along with both of these palettes. So let's just for the hell of it start with the violet one. So this is the one that I'm going to be using for the first look. So I'm then going to randomly pick a palette from my collection that I'm going to use alongside this to create a look with. So let's just go ahead and see what we end up getting for the first palette that will go with the violet palette. What are the odds? <laughs> I mean, I have over a hundred palettes in my collection. I'm going to draw again because that is just, that is so funny. How does that happen? Let's try that again. <laughs> okay. So instead we're going to be using the Violet Voss Sugar Crystals palette, which I really like that palette. So let me go ahead and grab that. I'm excited because this is going to be a fun color combination. All right. So if you have not seen the Violet Voss Sugar Crystals palette, this is what the palette... <laughs> This is what the palette looks like. It's basically a rainbow palette with a bunch of shimmers that go along with the colors. So let's hold these two up together here. I feel like we're going to be able to get some pretty good looks out of this. Yeah, because I mean, purples are going to be great to deepen up a lot of these colors. So what I want to do is I think I want to take one of the colors from the Sugar Crystals palette and use as a transition shade to uh, one of the colors in this palette. Because if I look at it in like a what is the darkest color that I have in these two palettes? It's definitely going to be this one as a matte. And you guys know I love me a good dark matte to deepen up anything with. So I'm probably going to use this as my deepening shade. Now in my first impression video, I didn't really like that shade and I didn't think it was the best. I'm going to go ahead and start priming as well here just while we are talking. So like I was saying, I don't think it's really the best purple that I have in my collection, especially a dark purple. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with that one and then we'll just kind of take it from there and see where I want to go with this look. So like I was saying, I'm going to first start off by taking the dark purple in this palette and I'm going to first put this in my outer corner of my eye and then I think I'm probably going to take it all the way through my crease as well. So I'm first just going to start by packing this on here. And sometimes this is just a way to go, especially with purples that tend to be a little bit stubborn and just doesn't want to always layer and build the best. It's sometimes just easier to go in with the darkest shade first. I have a couple of options here on what I want to do. Now, I do have to be a little bit careful because some colors are going to muddy up a little bit if I try to blend it out, uh, especially yellow. So you don't want to be using a yellow shade to be blending out a purple with because they are complementary colors. And so they are going to neutralize and make a muddy brown, which you never want that unless you, you know, want to have a brown. But usually the kind of brown that you get when you mix complementary colors together is not like a nice kind of brown. So if you can avoid that, I would definitely recommend it. So I could probably go with like an orange. Orange mixes pretty well into uh, purple. I don't know if I have an orange in that palette. Otherwise, I could go pink because pink and purple mixes very well. But since I have the... Uh, berry palette that I'm going to do a look with afterwards. I think I want to avoid that just to make sure that the looks aren't going to end up looking similar at all. So I think what I'm going to use is probably go in like the orange direction or maybe the blue direction. Blue could be really nice too and I do have some really nice blues in the uh, Sugar Crystals palette so maybe that's actually what I'll do because I love having like a blue and purple crease. I just think that that looks so beautiful together. And I also find this to be uh, very much a cool tone purple. You don't see a lot of warmth in this. So I think having a cool tone purple together with like a blue is going to look really, really nice here. Now, of course, I can go in with some warm tones on my lower lash line if I want to do that. But for now, I think I'm going to leave it the way it is. And I'm going to go into either mint choco, which is like a pastel blue, or I can also go in with this kind of primary blue. 
Um, I'm thinking I want to use the pastel one, so I'm going to go into this with the same brush. I'm just going to use another one because I have a lot of these. And I'm going to go ahead and just run that over the edge of where uh, the purple kind of ends and use this to blend out the purple with. Now it's been such a long time since I used the Sugar Crystals palette that I don't remember how it performs, but I do remember really liking it when I made my review with that one. I also did three looks with it. I will have that uh, video linked up in the corner. I don't remember how good that video is because I feel like it's a while ago. And every time I look back at like my older videos, even if it's just a few months back, I always cringe a little bit because I feel like, I feel like I'm always improving and there's always little things that when I look back, I see the mistakes that I made back then that I didn't know that I was making because I just, I didn't realize it myself, you know? So when pairing palettes, you don't have to make it complicated, you know, just take it one color at a time. That's usually what I do. I don't like to, you know, plan out my looks in advance, except for maybe like what kind of shape I'm going to do. Like, am I going to do a halo eye? Am I going to do just a regular eye with crease colors and something on my lid? That's usually what I do. And so I'll just take it one color at a time and then just kind of see like what's going to go well with the color that I just put down and then just pick one of the colors. I mean, What's the worst thing that can happen? You know, as long as you blend colors in together that aren't going to get muddy, usually you're gonna end up with a pretty nice look. So that's like my secret, I guess. It's not even really a secret, but I'm next gonna go into a little bit more of that purple and then I'm going to blend a little bit more with the blue again after. Sometimes it's just a little bit of back and forth to make sure that all of the blends and stuff are looking okay. And I think I'm also going to take this purple just down to my lower lash line on the outer portion of my lower lash line. I'm not going to take it all the way across because I do want to leave the option open in case I want to go in with some other colors here. So because I do want to, you know, try to use a lot of shades from this palette because this is the palette in focus, not the other palette. So I think what I'm going to do is for my lid, I'm going to take this shadow right here, which is like the darkest of the purple shimmers. And I'm going to put that in the outer portion of my uh, lid. And then on the inner portion, I'm going to go into this one. And then we'll see where it goes from there, uh, what I want to do on my lower lash line. I'm thinking I'm probably just going to continue with what I have going on in my crease here. But I think we're just going to do the lid first so we can see how that is looking. So I'm first gonna go ahead and take that dark shimmer here. And like I said, I'm gonna put that basically on the outer portion of my lid and just blend it into that matte that I have going on here. And when I said I was gonna put this in the outer portion of my eye, <laughs> It went a little bit further in, but you know what? That happens sometimes. Sometimes I just go overboard with the shimmers because I just I just enjoy putting down a shimmer on my lid. I just can't help it. So for the inner portion, I'm going to take that kind of uh, lavender purple and basically do the same thing with. Just switching to a smaller brush here so I have a little bit more control. And I'm just going to put that where I don't have any shadow and then just meet it up with the other purple and blend those two in together. Not gonna lie, I'm not like super impressed by the shimmers in this palette. I don't really feel like they're, you know, the normal like super intense Juvia's Place shimmer formula, but it's not that they're bad. It's just not really what I'm expecting from Juvia's Place at this point. I mean, I do like this one, but the dark purple is just not really, I don't know, it's just not really doing it for me, you know? So I'm just taking a bit more of that dark purple and just bringing this back because I feel like I pulled that light purple in a little bit too far here. So I'm just going to go over it again. So I think this is looking very pretty. I'm going to go ahead and basically do what I did uh, in my crease on my lower lash line. So I'm going to take a bit more of that dark purple and then I'm going to smoke that out using the lighter blue. And of course, me doing this doesn't mean that if you wanted to recreate the look similar to this, that you need to have this palette. Of course, use whatever you have in your collection, but this is more meant to be like a encouragement for you to start playing with your own things in maybe like a different way than what you're used to and just kind of seeing like what works together. And I feel like, I feel like drawing something randomly just, I don't know, it's just like part of the fun and it makes it, it forces you to 
maybe mix things together that you normally wouldn't have. That's why I really like doing this. So just for like the inner portion of my lower lash line here, I think I'm gonna go back into the Sugar Crystals palette and I'm gonna grab, I wanna grab one of these shimmers. I don't really know which one I wanna take though because there's a lot of beautiful shimmers in here. I'm thinking maybe I wanna use this one called Pistachio, like that could be kind of fun. It's almost like a turquoise in a way and I feel like that's going to tie everything very nicely together. So I'm going to take this shadow right here and I'm going to put that in the inner portion of my lower lash line and then for my inner corner I'm going to probably take a little bit of buttercream which is a yellow. So maybe I'll go ahead and do that. I'll try that. I'll finish it off and then I will show you what the look is looking like before we have put on any lighter some mascara and stuff like that. So I think this is where I want to leave it with the shadows and I think this is looking really nice. I think to finish off I'm going to use Fresh by uh, LA Girl in my waterline. Maybe I'll do, is that what I want to do? I think that's what I want to do. I could also do like a pastel purple, like maybe, maybe that's what I'm going to do. I think that's what I'll do instead. This is Crybaby from Colourpop, so I'm going to put this on, do some lighter mascara to the lipstick and I will come back and show you the look. Okay, so this is the look all done and for lips I went with like a kind of dark pink. I find that pink goes really well with both blue and purple so I thought it would be a nice combo. Now obviously with my green hair it's maybe a little bit too much but I don't care. So the one that I used is Flat Out Fabulous by MAC. This is one of their retro matte lipsticks and I don't know why more people don't talk about these because this is probably my favorite lipstick formula right now and I just discovered it like a couple of months back and then I didn't use it for a while and I've started using them lately. I have two, I have a red and I have this pink one and I just love them. Like they are the best lasting lipsticks that I've ever tried in my whole life. Like they just wear so well and maybe I'm just like late to the game on MAC but I feel like not enough people talk about these. Maybe they talked about them like before I got into makeup and I'm just like very new to makeup and so I missed the hype about these but I think that they are great and I would like to bring the hype back because I love them. So this is going to be the first look using the Violets palette. Um, let's just go ahead and move into the second look where we're going to be using the Berries palette because I'm very curious to which palette we are going to be getting to pair with this. I'm probably going to draw the Violets palette just for fun. I mean, knowing myself, but let's just go ahead and jump into the next look. Okay, so I'm back and today we are going to be using the Berries palette. Of course, I do want to pair this with uh, another palette as well. So if you haven't seen it, I think I showed it in the first part of this video. If not, here's what the palette looks like. So um, yeah, we are going to be pairing this with another palette, but I was looking at my phone yesterday trying to find a footage of me actually like choosing the palette that I was going to use for the first one. And it turned out that I didn't press record, so that footage is nowhere to be found. Obviously, you've already seen that in the first part of the video, but I feel like such an idiot. <laughs> so today I'm going to make sure that I do press record here so that you guys can actually see what is going on and I'm not just cheating. <laughs> So am I recording? Yes, I'm recording. Let's go ahead and spin for another palette that we can use today here. This is always so exciting to me. I love this little wheel. All right, so we're gonna be using the Menagerie Killer Purr palette. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that and then we can get started. I do need to prime my eyes though. So I'm gonna go do all that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've primed my eyes, I've found a palette and now that I'm looking at these side by side, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not like super happy about this color combination. I feel like it's going to be kind of tough to make something that's going to make sense out of this. Um, I think my problem here is that I don't really like the shimmers in this palette. So that basically means that I only have these two shimmers to work with. And I also don't really want to have like a brown crease, which is obviously what this palette is. So I'm kind of thinking I want to do something very simple today because I am going to get my hair done after this. So I don't really want to like fuss with something too crazy because I'll probably get splashed on my face all day. So I don't want to like waste a good makeup day, you know what I mean? But I still do want to have like something fun. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm basically going to use this palette on my upper lid and make a bit of like a, a pink smoky eye. And then on my lower lash line, I'm gonna pop this kind of teal color, which is very similar to what I'm hoping my hair is going to come out looking like, just a little bit lighter. So I'm excited. I'm gonna go ahead and start with, do I wanna have this one on my lid? I do think that's going to be really pretty. Do I wanna have this in my crease? I kinda think that's what I wanna do. Maybe I wanna do the hot pink. Hmm. So I'm kinda thinking I want this to be more on like the bold side. So instead of using this part, I might just use these two shades right here in my crease and on my lid. I just keep this very, very simple because I really don't have a lot of time either. So I kinda wanna get this over with. 
And I'm sure you guys can appreciate a simple look from time to time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start with this shadow right here. And I'm going to put that into my crease. And I'm also just going to like work on blending this out as we go here. And then I'll probably just put that other shimmer shade like all over my lid and make it into a bit of a smoky eye. I'm probably going to have to pull in something else for my inner corner. But like that's kind of the whole point in this, you know, it's just to show you how you can use one palette along with other things and not feel restricted and only using the one thing that you are using. And it's something that I want to try to incorporate more into my videos, uh, maybe not in my first impression videos, but I know that some people don't like me doing that. But like, if I'm being completely honest, like that's how I used to do my makeup all the time before I started my channel. And I still feel like I can, you know, get a good idea of how things are going to perform, even if I do pull in from other places. And I just want to show that it just opens up like a world of new possibilities. And maybe you don't really know how to do that yet, but it's something that it doesn't really take that long to like get used to doing. And I just want other people to be able to do their makeup like that as well. And it'll also just make you get more use out of your collection. You know, you don't have to just choose one thing to use every morning or whenever you do your makeup. And I just think it's so much more fun this way. And also, of course, if you want to like recreate stuff that I do, you don't have to have the same products that I'm using. Um, just look at it in terms of a color. Like, I'm sure all of you or most of you have like a similar color to what I'm putting on my eyes right now in another palette. So if you didn't have the palette that I'm using now, you could definitely just use like something else that would look similar and kind of just dupe the vibes. You know, you don't always have to dupe the complete look, just get the feeling right and like the color combination right. And that's all that matters. I might have to use some kind of a nude colored eyeshadow to just help with the blend here a little bit because it is a bit of a hard color to get to fade out properly here. But let me just take a clean brush here first and try to just work on this blend a little bit. Just try to make it a little bit more seamless. And then, like I said, for the rest of my lid, I'm going to go into this shadow right here, which is kind of a... It's kind of like a red, but I feel like on the lids it's going to come off a little bit more on the pink side since we're pairing it with the pink. So I'm going to go ahead and basically just put that all over my lid. So just like my first impression on some of these shimmers is that they are very hardly pressed into the pan. And I feel like some of them are going to end up getting hard pan, which is kind of unusual with Juvia's Place. At least for me, like I haven't really had that experience with their shimmers before. Uh, but they are really really pretty, but I don't know if they've kind of changed their formulas a little bit in these smaller palettes I'm not really sure So I'm basically just going to fade that into the color that I put down into my crease here Just kind of tap it out so that everything is blending together and that is a really really pretty color. Wow, that is super intense. Oh I kind of like that though. <laughs> That's really pretty just gonna go back in with a little bit more of that crease shade and just make sure that these colors are nice and blended together here and that both eyes are looking similar. And then I think all that's left to do is my lower lash line and something in my inner corner. So I'm gonna take Watering Hole from the Menagerie palette here and I'm going to basically just smudge that underneath my eye. And I think this is one of my favorite shades in this palette. So I just think that this is going to turn out to be a really, really impactful but still very easy look here. So I was trying to think what I wanted to do for my inner corner and I think I want to do like a yellow shimmer. So I'm going to go ahead and take another palette here. <laughs> Sorry about that, but that's kind of the whole point of this video. So I'm going to go ahead and take Lemon Drop from the uh, Jawbreaker palette, which is just a yellow shimmer. And if you have a yellow shimmer, I'm sure it would look very similar to this. And this is by far one of my favorite colors to have in my inner corner. I just think that it is so fun. So I'm going to pop a little bit of that like right in here just for an extra pop. And if you didn't want to do something as intense, you could definitely just do like, you know, a champagne or something like that. Or maybe even like a, a teal, like a very light teal or a duochrome of some sort. And I feel like even having some kind of a silver could be kind of fun with this. Just depends really where you're going with it. I feel like this is really going to change up the look. And I feel like that with... Basically any look, like you can really change the look up just by putting something different in your inner corner. And that's probably one of the reasons why I love inner corner highlighting so, so much. So I think this is all I want to do for the shadows. I'm going to finish off. I don't know if I want to go fancy in my waterline or just kind of do the same color that I have on my lower lash line. But I will do all that. I will put on a lipstick and I will be right back and show you the second look. 
Okay, so here is the look all done. I actually did end up doing a little bit of a fancy lower lash line here. So I used my LA Girl liner in the shade Fresh. And then on top, I used my ColourPop uh, Teal liner, which is in the shade Kiss and Teal. And then for my lipstick, I used one from Joa. I got this in my goodie bag from the event that I was at in LA. I will have that goodie bag unboxing uh, linked up in the corner if you want to check out all the stuff that I got. But I tried some of the Joa lipsticks in the past and I didn't really like the formula on them. But this one is really nice. This is kind of like a like a creamy, almost metallic-y looking. I don't know, but I really like this. Like it's just, it's so comfortable and just so shiny and I'm so here for that. I don't know if it really goes with like this look, but I just wanted something kind of fresh and I don't know, just something that felt good on my lips today. So let me know how you feel about this format of a video. And if you wanna see other videos where I use new releases with older things in my collection, whether it's randomly or just like me choosing it, let me know if you wanna see more of that because that's definitely something that I want to continue doing in the future in this year. So. Yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Let me know if you like the looks. I hope you did. If you want to see some other content that's maybe similar, you can click on one of these. And if you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!